From VOA Learning English, this is the Technology Report. A United Nations special investigator recently called for a ban on the production and use of lethal autonomous robotics known as LARS. Critics say these killer robots may one day choose and strike targets independently without human direction. UN official Christoph Haynes says the lack of human commanders raises many moral and ethical questions about LARS. He spoke in May at a meeting of the UN Human Rights Council in Geneva, Switzerland. He says the taking of any human life deserves a basic level of consideration. Mr. Haynes says the deployment of machines to kill people may be unacceptable because the world has yet to agree on legal responsibility in such cases. He says killer robots should not have the power of life and death over human beings. He disagrees with people who say robots could help reduce the possibility of what they call riskless wars. Mr. Haynes says people make mistakes. They can act out of fear or be driven by revenge or cruelty. But unlike robots, they can also act out of compassion. He says humans consider many different things in each situation they face. Drone aircraft have also been a point of debate in recent years. These vehicles are piloted by a person on the ground. Many countries have drone programs. Drone strikes have helped the United States in its battle against militants in countries such as Afghanistan and Pakistan. In May, President Obama said the use of drone strikes must be held to high standards. He called the use of drones effective, but he noted that the new technology raises what he called profound questions. For VOA Learning English, I'm Carolyn Prasuti. From VOA Learning English, this is the Technology Report in Special English. An international rights group has called on world governments to ban weaponized robots. Human Rights Watch recently released a report called Losing Humanity, the Case Against Killer Robots. It warns that fully autonomous weapons systems could increase the risk to civilians during armed conflicts. Militaries around the world are using unmanned aerial vehicles, also called drones, more and more. The drones gather intelligence, help identify targets, and fire weapons, but only if a human operator gives the order. Human Rights Watch fears that within 30 years, developments in technology could remove the need for human operators. David Metham is the United Kingdom Director of Human Rights Watch. He says his group is concerned that robots will not be able to tell the difference between civilians and combatants. The United States and other militaries have stated they have no plans to remove human supervision over the decision to use deadly force. 
Human Rights Watch says a treaty would help to guarantee that this does not happen. The group says a ban on what it calls killer robots would be similar to current bans on the use of landmines and cluster bombs. Some experts say that all autonomous technology should be discussed. For example, France sent remote-controlled robots to Japan last year to help contain the nuclear disaster at the Fukushima Power Center. This was a job that most people would agree was better left to machines. For VOA Learning English, I'm Alex Villarreal. From VOA Learning English, this is the Technology Report. An international coalition is calling for a ban on fully autonomous weapons, known as killer robots. The 45-member coalition recently proposed the ban to governments at a meeting of the United Nations Convention on Certain Conventional Weapons. The campaign to stop killer robots asked the UN group to add fully autonomous weapons to its work program in 2014. Scientists have yet to develop fully autonomous weapons or killer robots, but technology is moving toward increasing autonomy. Such weapons would identify and attack targets without human assistance. Noel Sharkey is a founding member of the Campaign to Stop Killer Robots. He also chairs the International Committee for Robot Arms Control. He says autonomous weapons should be banned. Steve Goose is a member of the campaign. He also directs the Arms Division at Human Rights Watch a rights group. He warns that killer robots will become a reality unless governments act now to ban them. He says the world should oppose a weapons system that would be able to identify and attack targets mechanically. He believes such a system crosses a basic moral and ethical line. Steve Goose adds that in recent months, fully autonomous weapons have gone from a little known issue to one that commands worldwide attention. He says that since May of 2013, 34 countries have openly expressed concern about the dangers the weapons present. Mr. Goose believes that killer robots could become the second weapon to be banned before it is ever used in battle. The first to be banned was the blinding laser. For VOA Learning English, I'm Carolyn Prasuti. Scientists at the Duke University Medical Center have successfully conducted a mind meld experiment that linked the brains of two rats in different countries via the internet and got them to perform identical tasks. Adding to its science fiction feel, the advance in direct brain-to-brain -brain communication could lay the foundation for what neurobiologist Miguel Nicolis, who led the research, calls an organic computer in which multiple brains are linked to solve problems solo brains can't, reports Reuters. In this clip you can see a rat in the United States responding to the brain waves of a rat situated in Brazil and mimicking its behaviour. 
Why should we be concerned about the implications of this study? Because it was funded by a $26 million DARPA grant. DARPA, of course, being an agency of the US Defense Department. And of course, DARPA's main area of research funding over the last few years has been focused around building robots that can hunt down and even kill, quote, non-cooperative humans. The robots developed by Boston Dynamics will be ready for use by 2014. This is the cheetah robot that can outrun Usain Bolt. This is the LS3 robot, which is designed to autonomously track people through rugged terrain. This is the big dog robot that can recover its balance when kicked. And here's the pet man robot that can balance itself as it walks. Responding to DARPA's funding of these new programs, Professor of Robotics Noel Sharkey said it's unfortunate that these robots are, quote, going to be used to kill people. Ronald Arkin, a robotics expert at the Georgia Institute of Technology in Atlanta, wrote in a study commissioned by the US Army, quote, the trend is clear. Warfare will continue and autonomous robots will ultimately be deployed in its conduct. The pressure of an increasing battlefield tempo is forcing autonomy further and further toward the point of robots making that final lethal decision, he predicted, adding that such a scenario will be in place by 2020. So, within a decade, will we see armies of robots linked via mind-meld technology patrolling the battlefields, or even patrolling our streets? Experts at the University of Cambridge are currently conducting research into the extinction-level risks posed to humanity by artificially intelligent robots. And top futurists like Ray Kurzweil and Bill Joy have predicted that the entire planet will be run by an artificially intelligent system by the end of the century and that most humans will become superfluous. While CNN says that we're all going to have a brain chip that controls our behaviour within 75 years. Commenting on the mind meld study, one scientist who asked not to be named said, Quote, having non-human primates communicate brain to brain raises all sorts of ethical concerns. Reading about putting things in animals' brains and changing what they do, people rightly get nervous. Envisioning battalions of animal soldiers or even human soldiers whose brains are remotely controlled by others. So while we're still some way off a Skynet Terminator style system, let there be no doubt that the US government is driving scientific research towards a future where robots connected via wireless brain links, as primitively demonstrated in the rat study, will form a Borg army which will be used to hunt down and kill terrorists and whoever else the state deems to be a threat. This is Paul Joseph Watson reporting for InfoWars.com.